Hello, thank you, thank you. Am I supposed to tell you something? <laughs> oh. Thank you. Absolutely the same. Absolutely identical to your feeling. Why, you know, why just Nazis? I could, I could explain why just Nazis, but uh, it's still frustrating. You're absolutely right. Hmm? Did you find it frustrating? Absolutely, yeah. I was, I, um, years ago, I was at a, at a panel discussion with American studio people you know, that came to, for a festival in, in Germany. And I asked that same question, but they refused to answer. I said, um, what, don't you consider us like um, worthy of, of regular parts? And she said, well, would you rather we didn't come at all? Maybe, maybe I, can, I can help a little you know, with this part, um, despite the fact that it is a Nazi. Maybe I can assist a little that, that this changes. I, I'd love to see that. Thank you. Uh, what a way to discover America! You, you, to come here with such acclaim with the film, and now award after award. Uh, what do you think you've been able to learn about America and Americans? I have to admit that I'm totally Americanized already. You know, and um, I have been before I came. I lived here a long time ago for a few years. I was married to an American for a long time, and um, if that doesn't do it, <laughs> then a nomination won't either. <laughs> yeah, hello. Uh, we just spoke with uh, Woody Harrelson, and he mentioned that someone with an accent will win the Oscar, but won't be a Southern accent. I wonder how much teasing are you getting from being the front runner? I mean, how much tease can you get of, oh, you are going to win the Oscar for sure? Can you hear me? Because I mean, with this room. I, I, you know, I've, I've, that's the director's <laughs> breakfast club uh, in session over there. And d would you mind if I yelled and asked the <laughs> directors, could you please keep it down? Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering how much teasing are you getting from the other nominees or your colleagues on, oh, you are going to win for sure. No, 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 no. no. This, is, this, is, this is one of the fantastic things about this whole thing as it was going on from November until now. Um, it was never about winning. It's not a competition. It's not a sports event. You know, there's no pistol going off and we all run and the guy who does it under 10 seconds comes in first. And, you know, th we, we do this together. This is a beautiful, really beautiful camaraderie that, that I have never experienced. Um, also because I've never been in a situation like that. But, um, um, so, so in in a way, it's it's lovely to see these these people who turn into friends. Um, the outcome we'll see. Nobody will begrudge anything. Is there anyone here? Nice to see you, and congratulations. By the way, you succeeded. Thank you. Uh, thank, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you from all of us. No, thank you. Um, is there anyone here that you are really looking forward to meeting that you have not met before? Um, I have no idea who's coming, but um, um, uh, I, I constantly, every time one of these events is, is happening, yeah, I meet new people and I say, oh my, I never dreamt about meeting this person, that person, you know. Um, I don't mean to sound disrespectful. I'm interested in meeting everybody. Hi, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's hard enough to learn one language, much less four or five. Um, did you ever think to yourself, oh, this is going to come in handy one day in one film? <laughs> How so? Um, it, it comes in handy when you travel. It comes in handy when you're, you know, trying to seduce someone. <laughs> so why should it not come in handy for a movie? Um, no. 
I, I, you know, I never thought about um, you know, when you learn languages, you learn them because you learn them. You know, um, um, it's uh, not everything in my life is exclusively geared to the usefulness in professional terms. You know. Congratulations. Thank you. uh, you've been working for you know a few years now or a yeah. long time in this business. I'd like to know what, what has been the impact of when working with Quentin Tarantino, considering that you through this work you've got a international exposure. And if you can answer in German for Sadev. If I can answer in German? Of course I can. Which of the questions do you want me to answer in German? <laughs> the whole thing, like the impact of you know working with Quentin and and, and, and do, do, do the others want it in German? <laughs> okay, I I I I do the simultaneous uh, translation. Yeah. Um, Quentin zu treffen war um, um, nach ungefähr 33 Jahren. To meet Quentin after 33 years, um, eine eine nicht nur außergewöhnlich, not only an exceptional Erfahrung, experience, sondern auch, sondern auch um, das absolute Highlight, but also the absolute highlight um, meiner, meiner künstlerischen Laufbahn, of my artistic uh, career. Und ich weiß nicht, wie es weitergegangen wäre. I wouldn't know how it would have continued, hätte ich Quentin nicht getroffen. Und ich meine Quentin als Person, would I not have met, uh, had I not met, rather, um, Quentin. And I don't mean the director, ich meine nicht den, oh, no, I have reversed the order, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, und uh, Quentin als Person, the person Quentin, and, and not so much the director, und nicht so sehr den, um, den uh, Regisseur. So now, now I found this way, you know, I go ahead in one sentence and I tie the other language at the end and then I continue in that language and I tie the... Can we stick to one, please? <laughs> Sorry? You want me to do that in Italian? <laughs> How many do you speak? In all honesty, three and a bit. Um, Italian, wouldn't you agree, is a language that is so communicative in its basic design that you don't even have to talk at all. Did you know what I said? I said, come on, you know, uh, what's happening? I'm hungry, where's dinner? Describe, if you will, how it feels to have played such a hateful character and yet receive so much love from not only the room here, but everyone who has walked into the theater and walked out. Well, that's, that's uh, actually, you know, to come back uh, to Quentin, it's in Quentin's writing. He wrote this character, and um, you know, it's it's. If you don't mind my repeating myself, it's just such a good soundbite. It's all on the page. It's all in the poetry, and that's really where the poetry is coming from. And Quentin is not writing film scripts. He's writing dramatic poetry that he makes movies out of. And um, I know you shouldn't end a sentence with a preposition, but anyway. Um, he, out of which Quentin makes movies. Um, so so um, the, the hatefulness is the connotation. And that connotation happens in, in the audience's mind. It's not something that I do. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>